Hey, God, please. Hmm. Let this not be true. Hey! Hmm. Let it be that they are pulling my legs. Hmm. The cars and the palace too. Oh, no. Hmm. The cars Mervyn was banking on to dispose of and to raise some money to start life all over again after almost emptying his personal pocket to bury his father and my husband. Oh, how could? How could no? Let me put them back. Put them back. Who is there? No, 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 no. Tell me what you told me on the phone was a joke. Your Highness. It is true, Mom. I am no longer His Highness now. I am nothing. I am just a walking. Oh, God. You mean? Yes. The company lawyer told us everything. My father was made to sign a document transferring everything he had to Chief Omuka. The company, his assets, even the palace and the cars. I saw it myself. Nancy even saw it. Tamunae! Yes, Mom. Your Highness, confirm that you're a man without a home now. Yes. I am now a man without a village even. I'm now a homeless church rat. Yes, mom. All oh, my honey has left. Oh. Is his clothes? Just that. His clothes. Hmm? Since Melvin moved in to live with us, he has not been able to get back to his feet, let alone making plans for his future with you. Are you still comfortable with the whole situation? Even if I'm not, Mom, what can I do? He's my fiance. I'm not saying that he's not. The 10,000 naira you withdrew at the ATM today is, uh, is the last money in our bank account. What happens when we're exhausted? Have you thought about that? Mom, the Melvin you and I have lived with in the last two months can be anything but a lazy man. Before we started spending our own savings, he first exhausted his for us, remember? I know, my dear, but... Thank God you still remember. Mom, Melvin told us that even if it comes to doing menial jobs to take care of us, he will do it. Remember he's an American citizen? Yes. And that by the time he moved in with us, he still has enough money to purchase flight tickets, which was all he needed to return to the US. But he refused to do that because he didn't want to leave us behind. <sighs> He's such a nice guy. But is there really any nice guy without money in today's world? Mom, hmm? you're scaring me. I'm trying to make common sense here, my dear. I'm sorry if what I said scared you. Better. Hello, honey and mom. Thank you. How are you? You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. The storm is finally over. You passed the interview? I got the job. Ah! 
and now the manager of one of the biggest real estate conglomerates in the country with a salary of 4.5 million naira annually. Go down. <laughs> Just break it down. How much per month? 400,000 naira month. Tamuna! <laughs> when are you starting, honey? Mm -hmm. As soon as the result of the medical test I ran with the doctor is out. The job is yours! It is my name, hey, man! Hey, hey. <laughs> the job is yours! I'm sorry, Thank you, honey! You know, mom. I love you, I love you, I love you! I love you, mom. This calls for celebration. Yes! So just give me a while, let me go get stuff. <laughs> yes, wow. baby, we're in! Mm, so, what is telling at you, gonna eye? Because I love you. No, no, I love you more, you know mm -mm. that. You That's know, not true. You know I'm the one that love, you know. Don't die. Then the eyes, I. Excuse me, baby. Ah, Jesus. What is this? Good morning. Oh, oh, good morning, sir. You? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, yes, I'm around. I'm around. No, no, I'm free. I can come. Okay, sir. I'll be on my way immediately. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Honey? Oh, sir. <laughs> the call I have been expecting for three days now just came in. Really? I'm telling you. Oh, my God. That's the company personnel manager. He wants me at the office immediately. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy for you, baby. Whoa! I can't oh, wait. Thank you, God. What are you waiting for? What? What are you still waiting for? How? Let's go to the bedroom quickly. Yeah. yeah. You and I? Yes. Because from now on, I'm going to be the one betting my honey plum. <laughs> yes. I'm taking it as my number two duty. Second only to my bedroom duties, you know. Let's see how good you are at that. What are you saying? You know I'm very good. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at that. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, 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 wow. How could they? How could they give that to deny me something I'm eminently qualified for? How could they turn my genuine humanitarian gesture into a nightmare for me? How? <sighs> Mom, calm down, please. Mommy, you ask me to calm down. You ask me to calm down, how? Mommy, you ask me to calm down. You ask me to calm down, how? I have just 2,000 naira left in this whole house and I have nothing in my bank account. How am I supposed to take care of us? Just tell me. God, God, how did I do wrong by donating a part of my body to save a dying man? How? First it was my father. Now this. It's okay, honey. Please calm down. I can't let this happen. Yes, I can't. How do you mean? Love without work is jamboree. How do you mean? What can you possibly do? Do you think you can do anything to change it? I don't know. But I can let it happen without at least putting up a fight to stop it. Your father's death still makes me feel very bad, even though I know I could have done nothing to save him. Me too. Huh? Hey, but what can we do in this case? Plead for him, ma'am. Yes, and that's what I'm going to that company to do right away. And you think that can change anything? Maybe. Anything is better than doing nothing under the circumstance. Do you want me to use before you understand how desperate the incident brought me here is? 
Should I speak Latin or Swahili? I'm about calling him. Are you living peacefully or not? You know what? I would rather have assaulted and thrown out that live without seeing your ending to this cat divided that brought me here. But come what may, I must see him. Yes, I am going to create such a scene here that everybody in this building will come out, including your enemy himself. Come on, let me go with something here. What is going on? 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 Nancy. Nancy Bennett. Faculty of Economics. University of Calabar. Is she for real? Teresa? Yes. <laughs> what are you doing Thank here? Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! What are you doing here? Why did you return to the country? Last month, last month. <laughs> what are you doing in our company? Your company? Uh, yes, my father's company precisely. Chief Ibiba Jack, the founder and the managing director of this company is my father. So tell me, what are you doing here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, I am... Hey, no, I don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'm about to go for lunch. Why don't you join me so we can discuss whatever they brought you here over the lunch? That's fine! Right. Yes, that's fine! That's fine! That's fine! <laughs> so much chief I appreciate it. thank you I'm dropping away now remember no one absolutely no one must hear of what we have discussed here today hmm? including Nancy she is too emotionally involved with him to be trusted with this. Once their engagement is broken, and Melvin is made homeless and a total reject, come. I will give you the balance of the $100,000 I promised you. And a duplex. I am Chief Onwoka. I keep my words. Chief Chief. Trust me. My only regret now is that you're saying I should not question as well. If not, you would have been a dead man before the day runs out. And um, my concern now is how my daughter is going to react. But don't worry. Go and do what I have paid you to do. And you must not fail. Because if you do, I will be forced to do it myself, Madam Rachel. And if I do, no one will be safe. Including Nancy and yourself. Anybody could be caught up in the crossfire. Now go. Go and do what you have promised to do. Not stand here talking and making promises that I'm not sure you can fulfill.
called you more than eight times when you dropped my calls. How did it go? I mean, did you succeed? They threw me out like I refused being. Good God, no. Who did that? Now, that's one thing I will not take from anybody, no matter my condition. Who did that and who ordered it? No one fights with empty stomach and expects to win Melvin. Honey, listen, fight is not always physical. You're my fiancé, my love, and it's my duty to defend your dignity at all times. Defend me first from the indignity of hunger and lack. Please do that and I'll be okay. Why are you talking like this? You know I am doing my best to make sure and things... And your best so far has been miserably inadequate. Isn't that what you wanted to say? Please spare me the psychological touch of hearing it again from you. Excuse me. Baby, see, listen, honey. My mom said I should tell you that you will never cease to be God's favorite for your kindness. Especially for the money you gave to me. Of course! I don't hide things like that from her. We've been close since I was a kid. By the way, is it every day a lady gets one million naira check from her man? Ah, you make me feel so lucky right now to have you, baby. I love you, baby. I know you do. Um, mom is here. Do you want to speak with her? Ah, uh, mom. Terry. Hello, dear. I'm fine. And you? My God will never stop blessing you. Amen. You are such a blessing to my daughter. Yeah. You will always... Hey. Here they are. Baby Shh. and... Mom is on the phone. Excuse Let's me. some manners, please. Excuse me? Let's call you back. Let's call you back, please. There's something that needs to be handled urgently. Huh? Thank you. Bye. Melvin. Is it anger I'm seeing on your face or something? Mom, that was rather rude of Nancy. She could have easily told me that. And you're making noise while I was on the phone. It's called what? Best civilized behavior? Huh? I'm sorry. I was only just... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Melvin, it's okay. No need for that long talk. Apology accepted. Thank you for that, Mom. Misfortune or whatever it is, is fast reducing him to a pissy, noisy guy day by day. <sighs> if only he knows how that disgusts me. I'm sorry, I don't know what must have upset both of you today. But whatever it is, I plead with you to put it aside and celebrate with me. I just got a job offer from a reputable hotel as their chief horticulturist and they're placing me on a salary of 70000 a month. <laughs> I know that may not be the most wonderful job and um, salary to earn, but at least anything is better in this our present condition. What did I hear you say? Our... God forbid. God forbid. I have never associated myself with bad luck all my life. God forbid that I should start today. Nancy, what about you? Mom, I'm not in the mood for much talk, please. He got a job. Good for him. Now, Nancy, that's one careless talk too many. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, honey. I am very sorry. Congratulations. Do you want something more? Hmm? Nancy. Are you in? Baby, go in and have your shower. Then join us later, okay? Okay. She's not a shower. Yes, go join us later. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Go and have your shower. Nancy, 
I can't find my bags in the bedroom and my belongings. Where are they? Check in the guest room. The guest room? Why would you take my things out of the room and to the guest room? Excuse me, my uncle. Alvin, the last time I checked, Nancy here is still single. She is not married. And you are nothing more than a guest in my house. Has that changed? What are you trying to... Hey, she asked you a question. Go on and answer her. Because the last time I checked, I am very much single. Am I not? When it was bad for you, I was the best friend. When it was good for me, I was the best thing. I gave you my everything. I gave you the rest of me because I love you. I love you. It was a mission impossible. Hey. I love me impossible because I love you. How is it? The pet just pulled it. Ew. Meaning what exactly? Meaning that whenever you return from work in the last week, I keep wondering if it's still flowers you tend there or cheats you pack for them. Gosh, you smell like suspect guy. Please go in and have some shower, please. Ew. When it was bad for you, I was the best friend. When it was good for me, I was the best thing. I gave you my everything, I gave you the rest of me Cause I love you, I love you It was a mission impossible, but love made it possible Cause I love you, I love you Now it is bad for me, you don't care But it was bad for you, I was there Somebody please wake me up I must be dreaming of this and reality, this and reality. Now which kind of life be this so? Kind of life be this so? Love to share, but so afraid to share. But she didn't know just who to trust. You didn't know just who to trust. Ooh. When he was good for us, you were our best friend. Me? No, not you, the lady with you. Nancy! How are you and what are you doing with this man? Please, do I know you? God of mercy. Do you know me? Yes, do I know you? Me, Melvin Ognoche, your fiancé? The same person you're living in the same house with up to this moment? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be the one asking you if you're okay, mister? Yes, you got my name right. And I still wonder how. But I'm not engaged to any man, and I have no identical twin either. Honey, please don't mind him. He must be either hopelessly drunk, or he's a developing psychiatric case. Honey, How let's go. You're good to go. You see all those things? Take them and throw them inside the river. The nearest river. Or better still, if you can sell them, you can keep the money. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, thank God you're here. Mommy. You, you have to follow me to my workplace. Please. Thank God get away smelling idiot. That's it. The owner of all those things here. Carry him as well. Oh, wherever you're dumping all these things, dump him there. Or if you decide to sell them, also look for a slave dealer, or better still, what do they call them? Ritual killers, and sell him as well. Oh, I, I, are you behind this? I...
goodness. Terry, what happened? I thought both of you left for lunch a while ago. Please, Melvin. Melvin? No. Never met anyone with a name. What happened? No. Yes. The devil is at work. <laughs> a fellow assaulted us at the lunch venue. Okay. Claiming he is my fiance. And he can not share in this house with us, Mom. Damn. Yes, Mom. I have never been as embarrassed as I was today. The dirty thing attacked me like an angry dog. Even as that, Nancy here pleaded I should let the police who arrived the scene to let him go. Instead, to only demand for his sack. Nancy, is that true? No, 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 no. How can you do that for such a fellow? Huh? Must you allow your emotions all the time to take the better part of you? Honestly, Mom. I didn't know what I was saying then. By the time I realized how silly what I did was, it dawned on me that the burden of proof is still very heavy on me. And I need to do something urgently to remove it, so as to retain my love's undiluted trust. That was why I suggested to him that we come back here. So on his own, he can save the house and see that no, no man shares this house with us. That was a brilliant idea. Thank God for giving you such an idea. My dear, there's nothing like that, you. I told you. Nobody is living in this house with us. I told you, honey. Please come. Just come and search. See who is believing. Come and search the whole house. You will see that nobody is living in my house with me. It's only me and my daughter. But it was good for me. It was the best thing. I gave you my everything, I gave you the rest of me Cause I love you, I love you It was a mission impossible, but love made it possible Cause I love you, I love you Now it is bad for me, you don't care But it was bad for you, I was there Somebody please wake me up I must be true. This is our destination. Really? So what are we doing here? Four days ago, I saw you with another man. A man I would later find out to be Chief Jack's son. What? You went acting after Terry? Mom, can you imagine that? Melvin, or whatever you call yourself, do I need to remind you that any attempt by you to harm his relationship with Nancy, more than you have already done, will see you dead without a trace. If that were my intention, Nancy would have been his worst enemy by now. Really? I only wanted... Melvin, this place smells like an open mass grave. Say what she brought us here for. Let's leave before Please. one gets infected with some strange disease. You feel horrible around here. Irritated, right? That's exactly the reason I insisted you both followed me to this place. Nancy. Mommy. Four days after you remorselessly had me sacked from my workplace without pay and equally threw me out of the house. You called me to a secret place to meet with you. I came there thinking you wanted to apologize and make amends, only to be asked by both of you to name my price so you would pay me to disappear and leave you for Terry. I insisted that both of you followed me here before I respond to that, and my response are in form of questions. How much was your father's life that I saved, at least temporarily? How much was my kidney that I gave up to save him? How much was my father's business empire and throne that I gave up to save your father's life? How much was my father's life that I lost as a result? How much was your family's pride that I saved by bankrolling your father's funeral? How much is true love? The true love that I had for you. How much is all, this, all the sacrifices that I made 
for you and your mother recently. If you can quantify all that monetarily, then I'll accept the money. Otherwise, no deal. And by the way, I brought you both here to say this. Because this is the place that I, Melvin, a prince, and the only child of a multi-billionaire king, now calls home because of both of you. You would say, put yourself together, please. Please. Are you done? Melvin, or whatever you call yourself, stay off our radar. Stay off our radar! Or you will come to a bad end. Listen, let me tell you. Go out there and ask about me. I am a viper. A very dangerous one for that matter. Nonsense. I don't blame you. Rubbish. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of this place. Oh, yeah. Please, let's go. Fancy, I love you. Nancy! I'm sorry, Melvin. I'm sorry, Melvin. Goodbye, kiss. I'm very sorry. Hmm. I'm very sorry. Let's get out of this place. <laughs> when it was good for me, I was the best thing. I gave you. I, I just want to talk to you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Before you accept that ring, can you be decent enough to return the one I gave you? Mom, I almost fainted when a man appeared as from nowhere and claimed he was a psychiatrist. That Melvin was once his patient. He said that Melvin has a mental trouble that makes him develop deep admiration for any lady that catches his fancy at any given time. That whenever that happens, he stalks the person and says them as if they actually happened. He told Terry not to worry, that Melvin must have relapsed and I'm only his latest victim. Melvin tried to deny it and the man called in some boys who came and bundled them out. And Terry went ahead and completed the engagement, right? Yes, he did. Even though I was more of a ghost of myself for the rest of the date. Here's the ring, Mom. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Mom. Congratulations, my daughter. Thank you, Mom. Hmm. Still wondering who the fellow who came in to save the situation for me was and how he made it to the scene just at the right time. Could he be his an angel, Mom? He's human. And he is actually working for your dear mom. Mom. Are you shocked? Yes. Himself and his boys, everything they did there or said there. I hired them to do that. Should such moment occur? Mom. Nancy, you have a master planner and executioner in your mother. Have you forgotten? How could I ever thank you enough, Mom? Hmm. Keep that thanks for now. There is still one more job to be done. What job, Mom? Putting the fear of force into Melvin once and for all. Hmm.
She's going to be Lobotzi. No, no, just hold on, just hold on. You see that shoe? Those shoes you want to buy for yourself. Hmm. That is exactly what I want. I can match it, Nancy. Write it there now. I... Mom, Those... how are you possibly going to wear, Nancy? I am going to... I can match it. I'm going to match it. Hmm? Mom, huh? can you possibly wear eight inches heels? I can wear it! The one with wedge, wedge. I can wear it, Nancy. Mm. Those people, they have money. They are... Please write it down there for me. Mom, write it with the set, with the set, with the hat, with the purse. Please. Mom, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to write it. But if at the end of the day you don't wear those heels, I will have you. Wrong. You see me wearing no them. No problem. I'm mm -hmm. doing it. Yes. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mom. Eh? Mm -hmm. My wedding is so going to be a big society wedding that will shake the whole city. That is it, my daughter. And that is why I want to look gorgeous. It's okay, but... Oh my god, yeah. 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 I'm totally right now. Oh, yeah. Ten points. Mommy. I've come to beg for your forgiveness in any way I've wronged you. If there's anything I've done to you, just forgive me and help me. Just coming from the hospital, where the doctor told me I have two broken ribs and internal bleeding. I need you to assist me. I don't have any money on me. I don't have any finance. I don't want to die. I beg you, please. You don't want to die. You don't want to die. And you are in my compound. Melvin! You don't want to die. And you set your miserable feet in my compound again. That's because I don't know where else to go. I don't know who else to run to for assistance. And this injury was inflicted on me by the boys you sent. 
see. Melvin, please, you're distracting us. As you can see, we're drafting my wedding budget here. So the last thing we so need is a walking dead to walk in here and spoil our moods. Can you imagine? You can call me a walking dead or even death itself. I don't mind. I don't even care who you're getting married to anymore. All I ask is assistance. Please, for old time's sake, just help me live again. Save my life and I swear you will never see me anywhere around you again. Remember I once saved the life of the one you loved. Please save my life. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Melvin. We will help you. Thank you, ma'am. Mom, my dear, let's take him to the hospital. God bless you. Mom, we have a serious business in our hands, so don't worry, my dear. Hmm? Let's help him for all time's sake. Thank you. Mom, very much. remember he's Melvin now. Uh, let's get out there and get a taxi for him. You know, and take him to the hospital. Thank you. Oh, darling. God bless you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Oh, let's, let's take you to the hospital. I'm sorry. Thank you. Come on, come on, don't worry. For all time's sake, yesterday's sake. Oh. I gave you my everything. I gave you the rest of me. Cause I love you. I love you. It was a mission impossible, but love made it possible Cause I love you, I love you Now it is bad for me, you don't care But it was bad for you, I was there Somebody Oh, sorry, oh, baby, easy Easy, don't worry, you're going to the hospital right away, okay? Just take it easy, gently Get a taxi there that will take you to the hospital. Thank you. Uh, uh. Gently, my dear, you will go to the hospital. Say you want to go to the hospital. Yes, ma'am. Get out! Oh. Oh. Get out! fully with you. Yes, Chief. After what I did to her the last time, she tried to be stubborn with me. I don't think she's ever in doubt what I'm capable of. She seems to love life too much too. Don't even think of that. <coughs> Not only that I love life, I can't give you the pleasure of outliving me. I shall outlive you the day you killed my father before me. I caused you in my nakedness. In case you have forgotten, I said whatever thing you did it for, you will never get. If you see it, you will never get it. That was what I said to you that night in my anguish. And it must come to pass. In fact, I can feel it now that your disgrace is very, 
Thank you. Thank you, those of our land. Thank you, those of our people. Thank you for this restoration. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, you need to see the things we bought for my wedding. You need to see my shoes, my wedding dress, my wedding dress. Not only just you need to see everything now. Hold on now. Mom, I'm telling you that I am so slim. <laughs> just stop. Stop, stop, stop. Hold it. I will not listen to you people again. Unless two of you now promise me that after your wedding, okay. you are going to take me to Paris to do my own shopping. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Yes, so, Nancy, hey. I will not be an in-law to Abraham, and I will be dressing like the lost Abakli. <laughs> oh my God. Mom, you will not kill me with your joke sometimes. Huh? Lost Abakli queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, if, if, that want, if that is what you want, do. Ah, honey? Mm -hmm. Yes. For bringing a beautiful soul like you into the world, she deserves whatever she desires in this life, as far as money can buy it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> me, Daddy, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tora, I will climb you and come down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. I'll climb you down, your soul going to pop. <laughs> Thank but you, on a serious Eddie. note, my dear, you are just an angel of goodness mm. into my family. Mm. Mm? You promised me that my second daughter, Boma, will be released by the Metropolitan Police in time to attend your wedding. Today, not only that she has been released, our oh, Boma, it's been a while. Boma, my daughter, is on her way back to the country to attend your wedding, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. I am very, very happy. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. My God will all. Oh, you reminded me, Mom. You know? Nancy and I are supposed to pick her and my London based younger sister at the airport, and the flight must have landed by now. Oh, oh. Let's go. We need to get going. Mom. Okay, please. It's been a while. I'll see. My dad. Dad? Yes. Hello, Dad. That's not possible. No, it can't. No, I, I'm not watching television right now. Okay, 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 okay. Television, television. That is the flight they are. They are talking about. <laughs> For goodness sake, what is going on, Dr. Auntie? We are here sent by our grieving parents to identify and collect the charred remains of our siblings who died in the air crash of three days ago. Your lab guys took DNA samples from us yesterday and you called us this morning to say the results are out and requested that we come and see you in your office. Doctor, more than five minutes we entered your office. All you have done is to stay at us, saying nothing. Doctor, what is going on? I'm sorry, I really do not know how and where to start. But I'll start anyway. First, are you, are you both siblings, born of same parents? What kind of question is that? We told you yesterday we are intending couples. We are waiting in a few days' time. And the victims we're here for are his sister and mine, who were returning for the wedding. You, you see, um, that is really what confuses me here. You see, your DNA and his match that of one of the victims, 
even though your DNA matched with that of the other victim whom we took as your own sister. <laughs> Doctor, what are you talking about? Please, can you explain to us more? The only medical explanation to this is that both of you are blood relation, siblings precisely. Devil is a liar. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Who paid you to say these evil things to us, Dr. Ali? Who paid you? Paid me? Yes. What, what are you talking about? Uh, and Doctor, I demand fresh DNA test now. Yes. For both of us. And you better do it right away. God damn it, Mom. This is one moment and one issue. And we will not accept anybody playing down to me. Talk to me, Mom. Who is my father? Nancy. Are you are you are you insane? Huh? Stop that silly joke. Bernard was your father. <laughs> Bernard was my father. And you call what is happening right now a silly joke? That for two times and even a ten from different clinics. My dear day. Mash Terry's perfectly indicating that we are siblings. What are you hiding from me, Mom? Talk! My world is about to collapse. Talk! Sit down. S sit down. Do you believe in the diabolical power of voodoo? Meaning what? Marvin is from the part of the country whose people are only second to the ancient Dahomey people in voodoo practice. My dear, do you think that after what we've done to him, that he will just walk away and allow you to enjoy the rest of your life with Terry? No, my dear. This guy is fighting you. Us. Spiritually. And this is the result. He wants to separate you and Terry. Oh, my Lord. My Lord. How could I have taken this for granted all along? Oh, God. Please. Stop this evil end. Mom, please stop making me kneel down, Nancy. Kneel down, let us pray. Let us pray against this guy. Eh? This guy wants to destroy your dream. Pray with me, Nancy. He wants to destroy your dream. Kneel down and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, we glorify your name, we worship you, we adore you. You are that God that sits in heaven and use earth as your matching is true. So I ask so Lord that whatever this guy has in mind to separate my name and my child, oh Lord, Father, for any power, don't allow it to happen in the name of Jesus. No great affairs are prepared in the name of Jesus to happen. So how's the means to help? No great affairs are prepared, Father. Father, what if one day? Calm down, son. Stay calm, let us wait for Dr. Paul's own report. I'm sure there's a mix up somewhere. In the other doctor's own work. Hey, hey, Father, what if it turns out that what they're saying is the truth? They are lying, Terry. I never cheated on your mom till her death, two years ago. I can swear to that. Hey! hey. <clears throat> yes. Dr. Paul, it was a lie, right? The hard things mess up, isn't it? Um, Chief, I'm afraid that was not the case. Doctor, are you saying that they did uh, As both of you instructed me, I collected the sample Dr. Andy and the others took from you and Nancy and subjected them to a higher and a more reliable DNA test. The results returned a perfect match. 
I'm afraid, Chief. Both of them are your children. How? I never met Nancy's mother until Terry met her recently. How could I be the father of a girl I never met her mother? You know my father? I know how you sorry. You and Nancy's mother are going to tell me the truth today. Or all this whole thing will end in blood, but where are you? I said, shut up and speak. Dad, I said, speak. Uh, you guys think I'm joking here? You guys think I'm joking? I said, speak. No, please, please. I'll start with you. I will 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 start with you. Pregnancy in the fifth month. I, I found out from a doctor during a fertility test. I organized that my husband was important. Yes. As a matter of fact, the, the, the lost pregnancy was not his, but was used by me to, to get him marry me, me to return him and his family wealth. I made a deal with the doctor, and the deal was that he should tell my husband that he has low sperm count and got me pregnant later through artificial means. Why pretending to be treating my husband seven months later, the doctor got me pregnant with a sperm stored in the fertility facility, and another doctor did it to me too. For my second daughter. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry. That is the truth. That is the truth. Please don't kill me. My goodness. Which year and which claim did that happen? And what is the name of the doctor you had that deal with? Yes. The, the, the year was 1989. And the name of the hospital was Cross Hospital. The doctor's name was Dr. Darius. No, no, no. God. So, she is not lying. Yes. Yes. Back down, son. She is not lying. Remember what your mom and I told you about ham robbers. About how ham robbers invaded our home when we were just three years old and shot me. Everybody, including the doctors then, thought I had no chance. Due to your mother's deep love for me, she pledged never to remarry, even if I should die, to ensure that she doesn't start seeing another man after I am gone. She still wanted to have more kids. She convinced me to store my semen in the hospital fertility facility so that she could use it anytime she chooses. We got the doctor to help us do that. Miraculously, I survived at the end. And I totally forgot about the store scene. 
That was in 1989 and at Crest Hospital. And the doctor's name was also Dr. Doris. <laughs> How dare you? I'm sorry. 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 If I ever see you and your daughter near my family again, you will come to a bad head. A very bad head. Both of you. Please, let's get out of this place. Tell me. Doctor, let's get out of this place. I'm sorry, I don't know. Honey, honey, please. Let's go. Honey, please, you can't do this to me. Shut up. I don't want to see you close to me again. another day, please. My mother and I are here to ask for your forgiveness, please. Please forgive us and... And marry you again, you mean? Forget all you people did to me and marry you? Have you cared to know how the walking dead I was the last time we saw managed to survive? Mother, beg, beg, mother, just beg. I just beg you, come I know that the God of the innocent is never asleep. Yes, yes. I know he will not allow you to die just like that. Wow. <laughs> wow. The devil talking about God. Interesting. Honey. Honey? Huh? Honey? Honey? Security. Honey, honey, please. Get! 
Majesty. Please, please, forgive me. Go! Hey, take it easy now. Take it easy. Madam? Come, come, move. Take it easy now. What's the problem? Move, move, move. Who wants me to carry you? Move. When he was bad for you, I was the best friend When he was good for me, I was the best thing I gave you my everything, I gave you the rest of me Cause I love you, I love you It was a mission impossible, but love made it possible Cause I love you, I love you Now it is bad for me, you didn't care When it was bad for you, I was there Somebody please wake me up I must be dreaming of this. Uh...